After her parents' divorce, Davina grew apart from her mother Florence and her French ancestry. Now she's on her way to see Caroline, her half-sister from her mother's first marriage. Caroline really kind of knows the French side of my family and all the French history a lot better than I do because she kind of listened to family stories and stuff. And my grandfather kind of bizarrely gave me a, a medal that his father received, um, which is this lovely, beautiful medal. It's got Victoria written on it, and I think it's the Royal Victorian Order. I think he was the chief of Parisian police, Préfet de Police de Paris. So I'm going to go and meet her to ask her more, but I think the weirdest thing is, is that obviously she's been my sister all my life. Why didn't I ask her about it before? You know, I see this woman almost every weekend. Anyway, yeah, I've got to go and do some digging. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh. OK, so, show me. What have you got? I don't know if you've seen them. But that's, I think... Yes, I've, you know, I've got that. That's yeah. amazing. God, she was hot, though. Mm. Huh? She's a showstopper. Yeah. Not great, though, when you're a teenager. And your mother's hotter than you are. all your, your, your potential yeah. boyfriends. Bad. <laughs> or when she goes clubbing with you and leaves you in the club. Do yes. you remember that? Yes. Yeah. A few times. Yeah. <laughs> I was 12. She left me in a nightclub on my own, looking like, like lamb dressed as mutton, if you see what I mean. <laughs> I'm, like, too young, trying to look too old. <laughs> I was just thinking in the cab on the way here, I was looking at the medal and I was talking about the medal and how it was my great-grandfather's. And then I suddenly thought, I don't even know his name. Celestin. C-E-L-E-S-T-I-N. Now, can you tell me, was he préfet de police de Paris? He was, he was chef, chef what de does... la police française. Oh, my God. So it wasn't yeah, just Paris? French police. No, French. The whole French the police. Whole... Did he wear tight trousers and knee-high leather boots? I don't know. I want to just... I've got this picture I've, in my I've head. Never, um, Have I you seen a picture of him? Uh, well, I've got a picture that matches... <gasps> that kind of goes with the medal. Um, in full regalia, because... Um, ah, ah. <laughs> Where did you get that from? Because <gasps> um, that's King George, George yeah. yeah, the fifth, oh my and that's Sinister. No! Yeah. That's fantastic, isn't it? Mm. What year? 1914. Wow. So he was well in with all the... You know, because, obviously, he was head of security, and I think he was a lovely man, so um, all, they all kind of... Oh, he looks such a dude. Yeah. Why did he get the medal, then? For services rendered to Rendered's looking after, after royalty? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Mm. So who... Who can help me, then? Um, Mum's first cousin, Françoise Aignan. So where is she? Um, in Paris, I think. 